Hello, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to do a serious Blake pro promo. Let's go. I was in my train cart with my friends, and my friends, and Remus Slippin got up, and he was. He said he was going to the bathroom, but I knew he was going to check out the train carts so that only had one person in it. I see my train cart with my friend James Potter. What do you think he is doing, Sirius? said James. Probably going to check on the, on that lonely Ravenclaw, I spoke. He came back and took his seat. I got up and said this. I'm going to the bathroom, I spoke. They smiled and let me go, and I heard the voice from the Ravenclaw train car. I started, I was shocked. I was shocked when he was singing it was my favorite song. Legends never die. I smiled and closed my eyes and followed the song of the voice in the, to the train car. Legends never die. When the cold world's calling you, can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die. They become a part of you. Every time you bleed for reaching greatness, relentless you survive. They will ne they never lose hope when everything's cold and fire the fighting's near. It's deep in their bones will run into smoke when the fire is fierce. Whoa. Pick yourself up, cause legends never die. When the world is calling you, when the world is calling you, can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die. They become a part of you. They become a part of you. Every time you plead for reaching greatness, legends never die. They were in me down in eternity, but you'll never see the price they cost. Scars collected all their lives. When everyone's lost, they pick them up their hearts and avenge their feet. Before he all starts to suffer through harm, just to touch a dream. Oh, pick yourself up, cause legends never die. When the world is calling you, when the world is calling you, can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die. They become a part of you, they become a part of you. Every time you bleed for reaching greatness, legends never die. When the world is calling out your name, begging you to fight. Pick yourself up once more, pick yourself up, cause legends never die. When the world is calling you, when the world is calling you, can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die. They become a part of you. They become a part of you. Every time you bleed for reaching greatness, legends never die. I stood in front of the red car car, looking in and opened the door when the sun was done. He turned it to me and was, sh he was shocked. I was here. I smiled and he smiled back. You have a nice voice, I spoke. You have um nice hair, said the Ravenclaw, smiled with a blush on his face. So care to give me give a name, Ravenclaw, I asked. My name is Tori Jackson Lupin, said Tori. So Remus has a brother and he is a third year I spot. He is in the same year as me and my friends, I thought again. I'm serious black. I spoke. So care to say why you are alone? I asked. I was uh, alone. I sp he spoke. Well, not today. I spoke. I sat down, and he was shocked that I would sit in his trade cart. He smiled and blushed, and looked out the window and smiled to himself. 
He was so cute when he did when do that. I smiled, looked at him, and he looked at me and smiled. We were waiting when it part. It's part. I left and he smiled and got his stuff and went to the main entrance of the train. And smiled and saw him was in the entrance. I then got to my boy. I smiled to my friends. The Remus knew I had found my soulmate, and he was happy for me. We got back to Hogwarts. I smiled and climbed off the boat and saw Tony hug McGonagall. Like always, he was like her son. And she smiled and looked at her, his brother. I hugged him. They smiled and looked at her. You boys have a good trip, said McGonagall. Yes, we did, said Tony and his brother. That is good, boys, said McGonagall. We went inside and took our seats. The new kids got sorted out. And there was a new Ravenclaw, and he smiled and shook his head, and they sat down. They looked at the books, and and without them talking, he was the new Ravenclaw first year. I smiled because he was not alone, and it was not the only one person. I smiled when they they were done, he showed him his dorm room, and he got his stuff into the room, to the room, and he smiled, and he showed him his place. He smiled and he left, but then went to my room. Uh, he went to my room to fell asleep. I was with the new my new kid, and showed him his room. And when I went to my the room, I shared with Remus, and he knew I would use my power to see what Toy was doing. And he smiled and hugged me. That he would love to me to be Toy's boyfriend. I smiled and hugged him back. I went back to went to bed thinking of my life, but so did how my how we would be a good couple to each other. What would happen for us, I thought. I then I then had a dream of our future, and it was a good one. I smiled in my sleep and looked more into our future together. I love you, Tony Jackson Lupin. I thought in my mind.